So on 8 January 2020, the Honorable Justice Coril scheduled this matter for today in the presence of all the parties. Today, there is no representation from the Attorney General's office. This case has a long but sad story that is history. I need not rehash it in this ruling. Instead, I opt to take a three-minute journey through the Constitution of Kenya 2010, a chapter that has been hailed as highly transformative, liberal, and progressive. I will start with Article 1, which places sovereignty in the people of Kenya, and it dictates in very clear terms that the sovereignty is donated to the three arms of the government to be exercised only as provided under the Constitution. Consistent with other uh, constitutions of the world, Article 2 declares the supremacy of the Constitution over all the other laws, and consistent with this declaration, any law, act, or conduct that is inconsistent with the Constitution is null and void. In a departure from the past, the Constitution also declares that international law is part of our laws of the laws of Kenya. As if the drafters did not trust anyone, the Constitution declares that it is it binds all persons. And to avoid any mistake or doubt, Article 260 defines the word person. Again, as if the drafters do not trust any person, Article 10 of the Constitution prescribes the values and principles of governance, which include the rule of law, human rights, democracy, only to mention but some. One core value of, in this uh, in Article 10 is the rule of law. Obedience of court, one, one core value of the rule of law is obedience of court orders. These values are not put there for cosmetic purposes. They are to be obeyed at all times, including when the government is implementing a policy or end law. I will jump to Article 19, the Bill of Rights. It declares that the Bill of Rights, that is the rights, belong to the individuals and the rights are not granted by the state. Article 20 tells us how we shall interpret the Bill of Rights. All the organs of the state are required to operate within the, within the four corners of the Constitution. In this regard, judicial authority is vested in the judiciary to be exercised only as provided in the Constitution. Similarly, executive and legislative authority uh, is also vested in those organs to be exercised as prescri prescribed in the Constitution. As I said earlier, the drafters of our Constitution did not seem to trust anyone. In fact, Article 259, which I call the Great Command, tells us how we are required to interpret the Constitution. The drafters never left it to the individual, either judges or leaders, to interpret it. In a Manner. So we are supposed to interpret the Constitution in a manner that promotes the rule of law, democracy, and the Bill of Rights, and also the development of the law. So the respondents have consistently shown this disrespect of the court's orders in this matter. A very worrying trend that cannot be tolerated in a modern democratic society that is governed by a highly transformative constitution as our, 2020, as our 2010 constitution. Dr. Camino worried and deeply concerned by the flagrant disobedience of court orders, asked this court to order that the Honorable Attorney General or a senior officer from his office to attend court and shed light on this matter. By the end of Article 156, the AG, is a legal adviser of the government. He represents the national government in court in all civil cases where the national government is a party. He is already a party in this case anyway. Perhaps I should state that this court 
this court is not powerless to make orders by virtue of its inherent jurisdiction where the justice and circumstances of the case so demand. In my view, this is a proper case for this court to flex its muscles and exercise its inherent jurisdiction and grant orders first to defend the constitution itself and also to defend the rule of law. In this regard, I direct the Honorable Attorney General or a senior representative from his office to attend this court. We shall agree on the date to explain why the various court orders issued in this case have not been obeyed. So let's agree on the date. I judge already given you a date. Can you go by it? Can you take command there, my lord? There is Mm. You have directed that uh, the AG himself or the Solicitor General or the Senior State Council should appear before you mm. and explain why the ruling of the court, the, the orders of the court have not been obeyed. Mm. In our response, which we filed before this court yesterday, we have been able to demonstrate. We have also demonstrated before the document that mm. the passport, the Kenyan passport for the petitioner, was surrendered in court. Let, let him finish, then you can interject, uh, you can Since reply. addressing me, you should, you No, no, it's okay, let, let, let him just say. Mm. So, so what are you saying? That what, what I'm saying, Your Lordship, mm. and what I wanted to clarify before this court, mm. if you may permit me five minutes, is that the orders that were sought by the petitioner mm. in the notice of a motion application dated the 1st of January 2020 mm. are the very orders that were granted by this court mm. in its judgment dated 14th December 2018. Mm. Your Lordship, we have demonstrated and it is an annexure that you're not opposed to the petitioner's re-entry to this country. What is it? The next chair is the press statement. Yes. There is an next chair at paragraph paragraph twenty-three of the, the reply. Mark. The press statement. Yes. Mm. And your lordship, what we wanted to ask before this court. Mm. That's why I had made an application to strike out this motion. Is that these mm. very orders have been issued by this court? No, now you are addressing the application. Yes, Your Lordship. Uh, maybe you may say so, but I had already made that ruling. Uh, you remember the application I even did mention. It's not even, it will come, it has a date, I believe. But what, what I wanted is the yes. aspect of obedience. It's even a three minute affair. Yes. You can either say we are complying, or it will be complied with tomorrow, it has not be here. So if it has been complied with what has happened in that, uh, or what is not happening. Your Lordship, when you look at paragraph, he can do so. So what do you do about the order I made earlier? Because I don't want to make conflicting orders. I already pronounced myself in your absence. Lucky enough, you are here. Your Lordship, I'm thing. making an application first. Yes, because now we cannot go deep into the other merits yes. when there is already an order in place. With your permission. I shall be asking, yes. come on Monday, uh, comply the orders, come on Monday, come and do the explanation, uh, and so on. Or your, your, with your permission, if I may, mm. uh, I want to move this court first, that it should go on record. Mm -hmm. Yes, as acting for the respondent and having complied with the orders of Justice for it. Or filing an affidavit. Or filing an affidavit issued on 8th of January 2010. Yeah, that, one, that one I did. Yes. Okay. Mm, but is doubt in that. Yes, other than complying. Mm. with the, the direction of the court, mm. we have also demonstrated our ability to comply with the court order. It is therefore upon the, rest, the, the, the petition mm. to move the relevant government agencies and apply to be issued with a new generation passport. If not, if he possesses other traveling documents, mm. 
he can use those documents. We believe he has a Canadian passport. Can you use that passport to come to Kenya? We will facilitate his re-entry from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, which is the position of my client. And if, if he's willing, he can come before our immigration department, reapply to be issued with a new generation passport. He can also do so from any of our embassies. With respect, I will strengthen myself. It's very clear that this council, this state council, who says that it's called a client, yes, none. Hamid has called a client, he doesn't have a client. Yeah. My lord. <laughs> what does he have? No, he doesn't have a client. Yeah, the state is not a client to him. It is not. Mm. Yeah, you put a bit this way. If you look cheap, uh, he must put a client, he does not have a client. Mm. But the provision is very clear. Mm -hmm. The state made an order that Nguyen can even enter using his own uh, ID card. He does not have to enter using a passport. At all. He can use an ID card to enter Kenya. You, yeah. you, know, you know what I wanted? Eh? I had already made a short ruling. Yes. And I wanted us to agree yes. on the way forward on that ruling. The explanation by Mr. Marwa is sort of uh, reacting Ma to what I've already said. Exactly, Lord. Lord, mm. The way forward is this, as we have put it very rightly. Mm. It has come on Monday. Mm. Let the owner of Attorney General or Solicitor General or a very senior legal officer come so mm. that he can be able to explain to us why these orders have not been dealt with. I'm yes. not sure my other friend is capable of giving us. A very good explanation. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. It's about moves the court and either vary it or review. Yes. Yeah, otherwise it re remains there. Uh, I'm minded to say, since I've given that date, I will yes. record that at the time I gave the ruling. That yes. was, the, you were not there yes. formally. You have filed an affidavit. That notwithstanding, yes. we mentioned the matter of Monday. You can also consult and see what hours best. Come with an assurance or something that will say uh, the orders have been complied or be complied, then we'll move on and close this file on Monday. But well, that's no dialogue. We, we hear the matter on Monday. We hear the matter on Monday. Uh, you have done a reply. These are factual issues yes. which, which I'm sure anybody can react to. Then our button general stood up and addressed the court. He indicated that he had filed an affidavit as directed by the court explaining the steps taken by the Honorable Attorney General. However, since I've already uh, pronounced myself, I direct that the parties do appear before me on Monday's directed. And that's what I've done. That's all.